In this video, we will show you how to replace your rear wheel bearing on the Chevy Malibu. This will be located behind your rear wheel. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Safely raise and support the rear of the vehicle so the wheel's off the ground. Once you've done so, continue on to removing all five of your 22 millimeter lug nuts and then the wheel. With the wheel out of the way, let's have a look along the back side of the caliper. You're going to find that you have two 18 millimeter headed bolts that hold the caliper bracket to the knuckle. Carefully remove the pair and then remove the caliper from the area. A quick inspection of the caliper and the brakes and go ahead and set that aside. Inspect your mounting hardware. If it has any lube like this does, you want to make sure you clean that down. Never put any type of grease on your brake mounting hardware. Take hold of the caliper and carefully pull it away from the brake rotor. Now, as I said, once you have that off of there, give the brake pads a quick inspection. Make sure it doesn't look like they're worn at an angle or damaged in any way. Also, with the caliper out of place, make sure you don't see any fluid. If you see any fluid coming from around the caliper, the caliper would need to be replaced as well. This looks fine. Set it aside, putting no pressure on your flex hose or your emergency brake cable. Remove your brake rotor from the area. We'll give that a quick inspection as well. This looks perfect. Bring some support underneath your lower control arm. Once you've done that, continue on to where your upper control arm meets your rear knuckle. You'll find that you have a 21 millimeter headed bolt that comes through from the rear towards the front and on the front, you also have a 21 millimeter mounting nut. At this point, you may have to raise or lower the suspension so you can carefully pull this out of position. Let's be careful removing this bolt. The suspension may shift on us. Can remove this support for now. Along the back side of the knuckle, you're going to find three 18 millimeter headed bolts that hold the wheel bearing to the knuckle. Now we can separate the wheel bearing from the knuckle. Keep in mind, you do have the backing plate located in between. If you find that the wheel bearing does not want to come out of here, you can lightly tap on it with a hammer. Be extremely careful not to hurt yourself or damage the backing plate. Here we are. Let's give this a wiggle. Quickly inspect that backing plate. Make sure it is reusable. And there it is, friend. With everything apart, let's make sure we clean down the knuckle and clean the backing plate. Use a wire brush for this. There we are. We'll just give this a quick inspection. Make sure you don't have any buildup in here. Move along to cleaning the two ears where your caliper bracket will go. Make sure you have a smooth surface there. Now for the backing plate, we'll make sure we clean each side where the mating surface is. We 
We'll use some copper anises on this mounting area. Just spread it around nice and thin here. Okay, friend, let's get ready to install our brand new wheel bearing. Take in your hand the backing plate, the new wheel bearing, and all three of your cleaned mounting bolts. Take the backing plate, put it in place. Align the wheel bearing. At this point, we want to make sure we have all three of the mounting bolt holes lined up and we'll continue on with all three of our mounting bolts. Start them in, snug them up, torque those to 66 foot-pounds. Once you have that torque to 66, continue on with an additional 75 degrees. Do the same to all. The next thing we need to do is continue on to aligning our upper control arm with the knuckle behind it. Now while doing this, you may find you have to push the knuckle in or out a little bit to get this aligned. At the same time, you may have to raise or lower the control arm. We'll be sliding the bolt in from the rear towards the front. At this point, if you did have to pivot this in any way, you can continue on with a 22 millimeter socket and an extension. We'll be protecting the stud area here on the wheel bearing. And now you can flex this and align it. Bring the suspension into the original ride height position. Continue on with your 21 millimeter headed mounting nut. We'll start that in along the front. Hold that in place with our 21 millimeter wrench. Tighten this bolt. Torque that to 66 foot pounds. Once you have that torqued, continue tightening it an additional 75 degrees. Remove the support. Now we can make our way to the mating surface of the wheel bearing with some anti-seize. Next, pay attention to the backside of your brake rotor. You wanna make sure you clean up that mating surface. You can use a wire brush for that. Now let's install our brake rotor. Slide that into place. While holding that in place, take your caliper and slide that over your brake rotor. We want to be careful not to damage the pads. You should have your inboard pad and outboard pad, one on each side of your brake rotor while you slide this into position. Continue on with your two 18 millimeter headed mounting bolts. We'll start those in and snug them up. Start in each of your two 18 millimeter headed mounting bolts. Once you have them started in, snug them up, torque them to 74 foot pounds, and then an additional 60 degrees. One last quick inspection and we can reinstall the wheel. Once you have the wheel in place, continue on with all five of your 22 millimeter lug nuts. Ah! 
With the wheel safely back down on the ground, we'll torque these in a crisscross manner. Torqued. Okay friends, we've got our vehicle back together. At this point, hop in the passenger compartment. Pump up the brake pedal till it's nice and firm. After that, take your vehicle for a road test, listen for funny noises, pay attention for an ABS light, and make sure you get yourself a four-wheel alignment. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.